found um, not surprisingly um, this is not really cheap no no boy no was expecting that no big deal um, these two thought these were supposed to were full size these are small these turn really cheap these bees not the bees. so also uh, braided wire uh, not n nothing shielded and also uh, here's the jack there's no ground bus really just that so you know these are full-size pots but and if these ones feel a little a uh, little better a little stiff but um, they're still cheap they're not the same as the good stuff and it, as much as you end up touching the knobs and stuff uh, makes a huge difference uh, but these are just unnecessarily cheap it, maybe they had to change the design because of Gibson or something but I just feel this little curve here is really weird hard to get a hold of that replacing these for sure with some legit Gibson ones uh, this I'd already talked about you can see that the everything is cut all the string gauges are the same so uh, plus it's it's loose and the poles are all loose this thing too is uh, let me see if, oops very thin sharp edges here um, still has the casting things on there and it doesn't oh it fits on here okay didn't want to go on on the guitar so these might be a little askew so it didn't uh, this one's a little tight but oh I see there's a big uh, you can see the stamping in there So it's just weak. It's going to contact on a knife edge when it should be contacting the old post and sending the vibration all the way through the guitar. So um, I have not sourced one of these yet, but I know Godo. Godo makes this, and it also comes with the posts as well as the ferrules that go on the body. So I'll use those. Um, this one. This one's actually made in Korea. This is not, but this just feels cheap. I mean, as much as you you touch this and interface with it, yeah, you turn the the volume up and it it gets louder. But just I don't like the cheap feel. It makes me I'd prefer to play something else. Um, these are the pickups. And didn't take them apart any more than this, but there's a lot of grit in there. They weren't assembled in a very clean environment. Uh, that looks all right. Didn't measure anything on them, but here's the nut. It's only glued in two little points. It wasn't fully glued all the way across, so um, we weren't having a super good contact. I was noticing that there didn't seem to be that much energy coming out of it. This is part of it. See, there's the graphite I had put in it. And it was still having, it's uh, supposed to be new bone. So some kind of bone substitute or just something that's not cheap in Chinese, I guess. But this did not work. Plus these aren't, they weren't really cut straight. So this one, the string, uh, the string wants to go out this way to spread and it's actually cut at an angle this way so it's kind of pinching the string in there yeah these I already complained about really yeah this, they look like tuners they do and if you mess with them long enough you can actually tune the guitar the real problem now 
this is what I was hoping not to find. Remember when I was tapping on it and I said there didn't seem to be much energy coming from it? This sounds right. That sounds right. Uh-oh. That shouldn't sound like that. Of course, it's not going to be super clean in there, but it does have a mahogany block. The routing is nice. It's all glued. It seems to be well glued here. They made a hell of a mess in there with the glue. They just let it go. And it looks like there's a shim underneath here. So it looks like that contact would be, it would lose some contact going through. Um, here's the real problem. See the top isn't glued down all the way. It's not contacting. It should look like this. And this one has a gap. See if I go around this way, the gap goes away. I go in here, it's okay. But as you go over this way, it's not connected right there, and you can hear it. Versus this side. So it seems like it's not glued here. It is glued here. It, it lifts, starts lifting about here. I think all back here, it's not glued. There's a big gap. It didn't clamp right. It'll fit it, it'll cut. I'm not sure. Um, where the block ends. You know that there. No, that's not supposed to be like that. Um, I'm going to have to fill that somehow and make contact and try to get some hardened resin or glue and do some research because that needs to connect.